Hello Planet Lovers, welcome back. So in this video I will be showing you how to set up a bioactive terrarium and the items you will need for this terrarium. Hopefully this is a success. Stay tuned. Okay, so some of the items you'll be needing is going to be your great stuff. This is the gray foam as you can see right there. You're gonna need two bottles. You're going to need the silicone and silicone one. As you can see right there, it's white silicone one. This is the one you're gonna be needing. You're also gonna need a paintbrush. You're gonna need tape. This uh, this of tape right here. Contractor grade masking tape. Um, you don't need that brand exactly. The cement color, it's gonna be the terracotta. And I'm gonna be using this charcoal one, concrete uh, cement color, okay? There it is. And your dry lock original. This is the one you're gonna be needing. And of course, you need this um, clock gun. You need it for your silicone. Okay, me, I'm gonna need some scissors to cut the cardboard. And this to put in the, pan, the dry lock and mix it with your charcoal, okay? So those are the items you will be needing for this. Okay, so you will be needing this. It's a plastic container, as you can see, I put both two containers just cut it in the middle and then put that tape around it and that should be good okay as you can see it's looking like that those are cardboards kind of like the trunks i'm gonna put some great stuff in there to cover it up and those are just tape around it um as you can see those are the roots down there i kind of you know kind of fold them a bit so they can kind of have that feel uh there and just put tape all over around like a crazy person okay grab your great stuff make sure you shake it well like it states on the bottle shake 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 and then just you know I'm just gonna fill up the middle so that way there's no frogs going back there and then it's gonna be chaos and God forbid one of the frogs goes back there and dies that's not gonna happen because we're gonna seal it really really good with this great stuff we're gonna make sure we put silicone after uh, we are done with this process when I met you, I was standing here alone Thought I needed someone to let me alone I live my life to your eyes Learn how to laugh, how to cry But I couldn't face the world on my own But now you see me, you see me cool When I have, I found my own I'm not restricted Well, let the carving begin. This is the part where a lot of people dislike, especially me. This is my second, this is my second vivarium ever. So, this is not very, yeah, this one's a little, this one's moving. So, since this one moved, I wanna put some silicone back here because they got out of the way, but that, actually kind of helps me because I can carve like a little bit more. Okay, so I'll be using this Vastar Cordless Rotary tool that I purchased off of Amazon. It was like $23.99. Uh, it was $32.99, but it was, you know, an offer. So I purchased it because it kind of really helps when you're trying to like carve it down or kind of make a form out of it. And since I want to make a, a tree form, it's kind of helping me out a lot 
there on the carving. So let's see how it goes. When I met you, I was Okay, so now it's the silicone area. I had to open it through the back since it didn't work. It popped from the back when I tried pushing it with a thing. So just make sure you cover all that, guys. Make sure you seal it good. Um, if you have to put a lot, put a lot. It's better to be safe than sorry. You know, you don't want any frogs going up there and just getting stuck there, up there, and it's just going to be total chaos. And besides that, you don't want any, any of the humidity you know to go through those holes and then it's gonna start like it can mess up with the background you know and you don't really want that it can fall down and things like that so or you can create mold in the back and it's just gonna be chaos you don't want animals back there so make sure you get a good seal back there um you have to use the whole bottle use the whole bottle it's recommended but yeah i'm using my finger since you know you can't really use a gun it is what it is so just make sure you use all that. Make sure you seat it correctly. Make sure you uh, seat it right. I used a lot. When I met you, I was Okay, so right here I just put a fan like super close to it so it can dry faster. As you can see the wood, it's already stuck to it, so that's good. So here I'm covering the branch uh, so that way, you know, I won't paint it and I can leave the natural color of it. So, yep, there it goes. <laughs> Okay guys, so just be careful, make sure you put something to hold that glass door on top, as you can see, um, just to be on the safe side, you don't want to break it. So I grabbed these pieces from an old tree that's in the back, a huge old tree in the backyard, and uh, what I'm pretty much doing is uh, I'm covering them up with the dry lock, and of course the paint, giving it that look, that uh, woody look and uh let's see how it goes let's see how how they end up looking you know uh where the trunk area is gonna be
Okay, well, I'm sorry I'm showing it to you like that, guys, but that is going to be somewhat of a final product. Uh, I did, um, I just put that real um, tree, what is it? Um, I don't know, I'm just going to call it skin. That uh, tree skin, uh, I just put it on top to see how it was going to look. You see how it gives it that three third dimension look. So tomorrow, once it's dry, I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours. And tomorrow, when it's dry, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it with silicone. I'm gonna pay, uh, I'm gonna use silicone on that. Okay. So that is somewhat of the final product. I don't know if I should go darker on this. I should go a little bit darker. Um, I'm still thinking about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna think overnight to see if I should go darker than that. But yeah, I'm sorry you you're looking at it like that, but I don't want to move it. That one glued perfectly with the silicone, so that's that. Okay. Okay, guys. So right here, I'm <clears throat> sorry if it's too windy. I'm outside, but I wanted for this to dry like super quicker, super quicker, <laughs> faster. Um, I put silicone all around it. There was a problem, guys. There was a problem. Not everything is perfect. Not everything we do is perfect. It looks perfect. It's not. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look perfect. But anyways, so my point is that <clears throat> I don't know if you see this. This is like this is all dry, right? So part of all this, it just it wasn't sticking. It just I don't know. For some reason, I left it in a back room to dry faster. And I guess the heat and the humidity made this like kind of shrink a bit. So it went all, all to the front. So I had to put new foam, new great stuff here. Uh, so it could seal all this, you know, there's a gap right here. So this is where it sealed all this. So that happened there. And as you can see that happened down there. So it's part of this, it's part of this guys. Nothing's, nothing's perfect. You know, we learn as we go and we learn from our mistakes, you know? Uh, that's what happened to me, that's my experience. I'm sharing it to you guys so you all be aware of it. In case it happens to you, God forbid, um, you know. You know what you can do to prevent it. You know, maybe just not leave it in the hot, in a hot, hot room where it gets up to 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and, um, or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I had to seal it again, it was a little bit more work. Now I'm letting it dry. Um, I'm letting it dry. I put that piece right here so it can look a little bit more realistic. I just kind of like, you know, damp it with brown all over. Um, so yeah, so far this is a this is a result right here. I still haven't removed the tape from there. That's what I'm about to do. I put this thing right here. I just put some silicone there so it could stick so this is gonna be like this is gonna stick down here but I just want to make sure that yeah, it's drying it's, it's drying so it's drying I'm gonna give it a couple of couple of more minutes and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one like around here but I want this vine I want this vine like going like that going like that so yeah that's that it's been work guys it's been work but I'm excited for the final result and I really I really hope you enjoy it once it comes all together with the light and everything. Stay tuned. And the Leca. More of the Leca. So here it goes. It's gonna go inside guys. I already put some in the back. We're gonna throw it in the bag. Some guys, I have the sphagnum moss uh, soaking. It's already pretty much soaked. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's like really wet. 
leave it here for a couple of more minutes while I'm fixing the terrarium. This is how it's looking inside. This one died over here. Some plants are gonna die, guys. That's just the, that's just the reality of it. It is what it is. Um, some just die, and that's just the reality of it. It is what it is. That one's looking a little bit yellow. This one right here is dying, died. Um, this one right here is doing good. This one's doing good. That one, that one's new growth right there. I don't know if you remember, but you're gonna see it. So this one's new growth as well. This one right here is doing perfectly fine. This is the newest, the newest leaf right here. It's loving all this. The Monstera Splickiana. The Bronze, Caria Bronze is doing really good. That one in the back is doing good. That one. You see how that one in the back is also doing really good. This one, the first leaf is dying. Uh, let me look at the root system. Uh, it's not looking that good. Not looking really good, but we'll see. Let me get rid of this. I'll just wait for it to fall down. put it there but we'll see how it goes it is what it is guys some survive some don't that's just the way it is